Work one massive. I am Fziba. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. So I got a request to show you how I prepare my meals. Or I think it's more than one request I get though. So today I'm in the kitchen and I'm going to be sharing with you how I prepare sauteed moringa drumsticks. And as you can see here, family will have the drumsticks and this is the size that you really want to go for when they are very tender. When you get them bigger than this, they are going to be very hard to chew. And so, yes, this is a size that you really want. Very young, very tender. And of course, it's a saute, so we can't do it without our onion. We have half a sweet pepper and one tomato. Um, as you can see, this is a small portion because I was not able to get as much of the drumsticks as I would love to. Now, I'm also going to go ahead to use... You know one jamaican onion and then we have the red onion so let's show you how we prepare the sauteed moringa drumsticks so we're going to start with the moringa drumsticks and we're just going to remove the stem and the tips because the tips are a bit bruised right. and these are already washed guys they're very tender you can actually have these as they are right now but we're just going to cut them up and we're not sauteing them for very long as well we're just going to cut these up almost like string beans they remind me of string beans and we're going to cut up our onions I, want, I like onion rings so we're going to do onion rings And then of course our local onion these are fresh and juicy so we're using all of the Jamaican onions guys then we're gonna cut up our bell peppers we're cutting these in strips <laughs> then next we're going to cut up the tomato we'll just cut it up in chunks and that's it guys all right so we're gonna prepare the drumsticks now and as I said this is just a very quick meal like five minutes this will take you to prepare or perhaps even less it just depends on how um, hard you are or soft you like your vegetables to sa saute so we're gonna get on to preparing the sauteed moringa drumsticks now so we added the oil to the pot we allow that to heat up and now we're going to add the sweet pepper tomato and the onions the last thing we'll be adding is the Moringa drumsticks. And guys, this smells so good already. Just stir them around. Just give it a stir because we don't want them to burn. Then we're going to add our sweet pepper. Colors nice and pretty. And as I said guys, this is a 5 minute meal, you know, no long cooking, because we don't want to cook out the new drink. So guys, the colors are still very vibrant, and you can hear my pot, beautiful colors. Alright, so now we're going to be adding the Moringa drumsticks, and this just have a lovely flavor already guys. And remember, if you have more drumsticks, you can add more, but I just wanted to show you how I prepare my Moringa drumsticks. You can, and you have many different ways that you can prepare this. You can cook it up with your cabbage. You can cook it up with salt fish. Whatever your preference is. You just want to cook it up with it. And guys, this is so nice and nutritious. And you see also that you don't have to... Um, the food don't have to be expensive to be healthy. Right? Contrary to what we have been told. You have your Moringa tree in your backyard. You go, you pick off your Moringa drumsticks and healthy meal. Alright? Alright, so we're just going to allow this to saute for about 2 minutes more 
because as we say we want the drumsticks to be very tender and you know re retain the color and flavor of the other vegetables as well and I'm not gonna put any scotch bunny pepper in this because you don't know the whole family have to eat it so we're just working with this again guys personal preference it's up to you what you want to add to this you can put your moringa drumsticks in your ackee just about anything you want to cook it up with right guys look at those colors nice and beautiful yeah, man. so we have some pink potato that we're gonna put with this so I already went ahead and I cooked the potato so I'm just gonna finish um, preparing the potato and then we're going to share and we're going to make you see what everything looks like so we're gonna remove this from the flame now guys and you want to smell what going in the pot you so nice 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 so we're going to share this now with the pink potato yeah and uh, let's go so here is the potato i cooked these early as i said and then we're going to change the color of that with some raw beetroot so you know we're going to get that nice pretty color so let's go ahead and mix this up now and then we're going to share and uh, we'll show you the final presentation all right so we added the beetroot to the potatoes we're just going to mix this up now up everything and as I said guys this is how I incorporate raw foods into my diet because sometimes if you're not accustomed to raw food you know it can be really hard to get adjusted so if you can find creative ways to prepare your or to incorporate your raw food by all means and this is just one of the ways you know apart from juicing right, so I'll mix this up now guys and we're going to share no, this is what it looks like. All right, so it's sharing time. Yes, guys. So here is the final thing. So guys, for the taste, I'm going to show you that this thing is so soft. You don't have to worry about, you know, and it's trashiness. Yeah. It's really soft, guys. And the pink potatoes. Very nice guys. Healthy meal. And if you notice I don't put any salt in there. And tasty. Very tasty. That's it for this video guys. Thank you for watching. I am FZ Man. See you in the next video. Mm hmm Everything crunchy and nice. Mm -hmm. See you guys, see you in the next video.